Jacob, I hate to go back to this last year, but I kind of have to get an opportunity in the bowl yep. game, you're ready to go, and then crap, that happens. Like, what was the, what was the last seven, eight months been like for you? Um, just a lot of recovery. Uh, I've been getting as much time in the treatment room as I can, um, trying to get in there at least two hours a day, every day. Um, and, you know, I'm really grateful for our training staff because they've, they've helped me out a ton. Um, really just working with me every day, new stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's been good. It's, it's moved really well. Um, I'm ahead of the curve, so uh, I'm very grateful for that. That's what I was going to say. I, I feel like everybody said you're ahead of the curve right now. You're kind of in a better spot than you were. Do you feel like you are right now? Yeah, I feel great. Um, my leg um, is actually stronger on this side. Uh, so going into camp, I think that's something that's uh, definitely going to be beneficial for me. So. When Coach Venable talks about having a plan for you guys to kind of ease you back in because you're a naturally aggressive guy, do you like hearing that or do you hate hearing that? Uh, coming from a head coach, I mean, I, I think that is a compliment for sure. Uh, it, it's, it's frustrating for some people, but I completely understand it. Um, and I'm grateful for him watching out for me for like, uh, situations like that. And, uh, but I am excited to get back into it. No he he kind of kinda hinted, yeah. sorry, he kind of hinted that you weren't, that you were hard when it comes to that because of your nature, just wanting to overachieve and push yourself and overexert yourself and work. Is that, you say you're thankful for that, but how hard is that for you to sit back and just be like, man, I really want to be out there getting those reps. Oh, it's, it's definitely difficult, uh, especially watching other guys get out there and work, your teammates. Um, even winter workouts, going back um, to there, seeing all our, our, our O-line guys get after it and uh, just want to be a part of that And because uh, you see them doing great things, you want to be a part of it. So, uh, you know, it is difficult, but it's something you got to deal with. So uh, just part of the game. Have you set any goals or expectations for yourself this year? Um, just make sure I'm healthy. Um, going back into it, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I'm young, so I've got, I've got time. I want to make sure that my leg is strong and ready to go. Um, and other than that, man, have a great time, make some good plays. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. How good can this line be? Because I keep hearing from Coach Beatenbow that he loves the way you guys work. What, what makes this line special and this group special? Um, I'd say over uh, summer workouts, everybody is just busting their tail. Um, unlike last year, everybody's working hard, but I feel like this year it just went up another notch. Um, all these guys are you know, fired up, getting ready, uh, going into the season. They're just, I feel ready. I feel like they're all ready. So I, I think that's pretty sweet. The, the, you talk about being different than last year. They worked hard, but you think they, they've gone up another notch. Is that just you all understanding what the standard actually is after going six and seven? Is that, okay, what we did last year wasn't good enough and wasn't the standard, and, and you guys just kind of taking an onus on it and, and running with it? Absolutely, yeah, no doubt. Um, really, the guys working with Schmitty, um, I think a total mindset uh, change up. So everybody's really getting back into everything. Um, it's year two now with the new coach, so everyone's getting used to that. There's a flow now. Last year there was no flow. This year there's a flow. Um, and I think everybody's kind of found their groove and everyone's working together well. Um, so I'm excited for this season. What's the biggest difference you've seen year one versus year two of, of kind of this new regime? Um, I would say everybody's uh, focus on anything. I feel like when I first got here, everybody was a little more standoffish maybe. Um, but as of right now, I would say everyone's really focused on and, and just ready for, for a season and um, a, great, a, great, a great record. You're a kid from Oklahoma. You basically only know no your football is winning, you know, 10, 12 games a year. How, how difficult was it to sit through last year when it didn't go that way? Um, you know, it's tough. It's um, it's weird for that being my first year. I didn't really have any other uh, what's the word for it? not expectation, but I didn't have that year before of a really solid record. So for me, that was that was normal because that was my first year. So um, going into it this year, I'm excited to see some changes and uh, some some new some new. Uh, no excitement for everybody. Feels like there's some opportunity up front. I mean, that's the nature of college football. Guys move on and graduate. But how exciting is that, that there's some chances up front for this offensive line for new faces? Yeah, no, I'm fired up for it. I think I think it's going to be great. Um, a lot of guys are going to get um, some great reps. Um, going into fall camp, everybody's you know prepared for that. And, um, really excited for their, their opportunities. How much are you weighing right now? Uh, I'm sitting about 325, 330. So. Going from came in here at 275, so yeah, pretty solid 280.
What are the expectations for this team? Uh, you know, high expectations, high expectations. Uh, everybody's excited, and I think that's one of the biggest things is if you've got an excited team, um, they're going to be prepared, ready to go. So. Appreciate it.